sick person all morning. Not one cup of pee. No one has come to this inn. Oh. Well, I eat. I'll fast a bit. I'll be all right. It's good for the soul. Or, or is that is that stew meat that cat has? <coughs> It'll be all right. Those farmers will be fed tonight and drunk too. Who cares? Well, I'll be in forever. Isn't anybody sick today? Hi, Joe. My heart and my stomach mourn a sad song. Wait, who's that knocking so clumsily there? Are you perchance the one called Polenta, the Jewish middle wife? I'm not called Polenta, my dear man. I'm Yanta. And what is your business? My boss, Hughes Telephune, sent me over here on account of your medicine. You're supposed to take a look at his water and see what's wrong with his sickness. Ah. Oh. Still warm. <laughs> yes. I see. Can you tell me where he's hurting? Well, in bed where I left him, I guess. No, no, no. Which limb hurts him? Oh, oh, yeah. His tummy rumbles like stormy weather. Ah, well, can you tell me if he's coughing or vomiting? <laughs> yeah, he's coughing at both ends, <laughs> like big flames shooting out. <laughs> oh, young man, you are a coarse monkey. Is, is your master stopped or closed up? Oh, no, you don't need to worry about that, mistress. We keep the doors wide open all the time. Uh, uh, can you tell me, I, does he have wind, or how does he feel in his abdomen? Oh, oh, I got you. Wind, right. Oh, yes, my master has wind to boot. <laughs> yes, our house is way out in the open, so we have too much wind most of the time. I just want to know if the patient Oh, oh, right, right, yeah, my master really can rip them. <laughs> Why, even last night, he ripped one louder than an ox cloth tearing. <laughs> and that half-dead hen flew from its roost all the way over to the threshing floor. Ah, ah, I see. Well, well, now we're getting somewhere. Let me see if I understand. <coughs> Does your master have the urge for a stool? Oh, mistress, he's a farmer. What does he know about school? He's never even been near any school. Well, he can only count hedges and does his writing with a pitchfork. Can't you understand a thing? I want to know if your master has had the desire to have a stool. Oh, well, of course, yeah, he's got a stool and a bench and a couple of chairs. And you know what? He likes to sit in all of them. <laughs> oh, no. Isn't your master... Is, is he able to go comfortably? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's comfy most of the time. I mean, sometimes he's weak and wobbly need. <laughs> he just lies there and pants and pants. <laughs> uh, he won't be out running no more rabbits, I can tell you that. Oh, for heaven's sakes, tell me clear and short. Can your master take a crap? Understand that, Latin? That's what you've been after. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But early this morning there was a cracking and a shouting, and my boss made one ew of an egg <laughs> back there behind the fence. <laughs> Big as my felt hat, too. Smelled of cabbage and was larded full with a hundred folds. <laughs> well, that old sow rubbed and rolled in it till you couldn't even find a snout full. <laughs> Why? Did you need that, too? No! <laughs> no, thank you. Um, but, but. Now we're getting somewhere. Let me inspect this urine. Yes, that uh, conforms with his illness. I'll have to prescribe just the right medicine. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. The urine confirms it. Wonder of wonders by my faith, your master is pregnant with a filly, a foal, a colt. That's what's bellowing in his belly. <laughs> if I'm to help him, he is going to have to take
I have in this glass, which I can't get open. <laughs>